Hello and welcome to the ink and water tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create this eye-catching ink effect from conception to compositing. Although most of the effect will be based on a pyro solver simulation, we will also create additional bubble elements using particle simulations with volume advection. Volume advection can be a very useful technique in different kinds of effects like blowing leaves, ash, embers, and even flocking systems so it's always a good idea to have it in your effects arsenal. In terms of rendering, we will take a look at rendering our resulting simulations both in Mantra and in Arnold Render, which I find has a very nice volume shader and is a very popular renderer for production. So before we dive into Houdini, let's take a look at the references I used as inspiration for the tutorial. Although I went through several different references and each one has a slightly different look, I went for this kind of dense, very colorful ink, which I really liked. So notice how it has a look similar to smoke or clouds, and this is why I decided to go with a pyro simulation. But it also has very bright and vivid colors. Also notice in this second reference, we have some tiny bubbles that are following the motion of the ink and sometimes they rise, sometimes they're being pushed by the actual ink. And this is why I decided to add a secondary element with particles being advected by the velocity we created with a pyro simulation. This will give it a very nice touch and an extra level of realism. Finally, what I did that we may not see in these particular examples is a layer of small tiny bubbles or debris that you can often find in water tanks. And I really liked this element combined with a very shallow depth of field, which is also something I noticed in this kind of photography. In the end, I think that also gave it a very nice touch. So let's go ahead, dive into Houdini and start preparing our pyro setup. 